Sa so, mga nakaraang mga Sundays, nag-start po nung ating pong anniversary, nakikita po natin yung kakaibang pagkilos ng Diyos sa paraan na hindi natin kayang isipin. In other words, we're experiencing miracles from God. And we are celebrating that this morning. And uh, again, this morning we believe that we'll, we will experience God in a real and deeper way. So welcome to a church that has a very high expectation of the move of God. Amen? We're expecting God to show up. Amen? And touch us this morning. If you're here for the first time, I'd like to personally welcome you. Uh, may I please see your hand if you're here for the first time? If you just can wave it to me. Yes, yes, yes. We have people here and there. Welcome. You came to the right place. Thank you for coming. Amen. Ilam po sa inyo naniniwala talaga na hindi mo kaya kaya ng Diyos. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, alam mo, ang hindi mo kaya, kaya ng Diyos. Magsumikap kang manampalataya kasi walang hindi kaya ang ating Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat. Amen. Ang hirap ng buhay. Pero may kasunod dyan. Mabuti ang Diyos. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, life is hard, but God is good. And all the time, mabuti ang Diyos. At lagi-lagi, bigyan natin ng malakas na mapuring palakpak ang Panginoon. Pero kung magiging honest ka ngayong maga, marami mga pagkakataon, ang dinudugtong natin doon, ang hirap ng buhay ay wala na talaga. Ay, nako, paano na ang buhay na to? Patay kang bata ka. Sino sa inyo ang aamin na minsan yan ang dinudugtong natin? Hmm, kala ko ako lang. Ngayon pong umaga, ang ating pong mensahe, pinamagata natin, hindi mo kaya, kaya ni Lord. Meron po tayong titignan na passage sa Luke chapter 19 verses 1 to 10. Dito makikita natin ang story ni Zacchaeus. Basahin po natin. And Jesus entered Jericho at passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was. But because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him. Since Jesus was coming that way, when Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this and began to mutter, He has gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, Today, salvation has come to this house because this man is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Alam niyo po sa Luke chapter 18, may sinabi si Jesus doon. Bago sa, sa Luke chapter 19, sabi niya, God can do what man cannot. Ang context po nito kasi sa Luke chapter 18, meron doong rich young man na nakipag-usap kay Jesus Christ. Iklaan ko lang po yung kwento kasi Masyadong mahalaga sa kanya yung kanyang kayamanan. Sabi kasi ng Panginoon sa kanya, kung talagang gusto mong sumunod sa akin, eh, ibenta mo ang mga ari-arian mo. Tapos, ipamigay mo sa mga mahihirap, sumunod ka sa akin. Ang nangyari po ang sabi ng Soria, yung lalaki po na dati kanina ay masigla. Sabi ng Bible, and the guy left sad because he could not with this wealth. Sabi ng mga tao, ay kung ganun, 
Sinong maliligtas? Kasi sabi ng Panginoon, mahirap talagang maligtas ang isang mayaman. Sabi ng mga tao, kung gano'n, sino maliligtas? Ang sagot ng Panginoon, ha? Niisip nyo? Inuutak nyo? Sabi ng Panginoon, ang mahirap at hindi pwede sa inyo, pwedeng gawin ng Diyos. At dito po sa Luke chapter 19, makikita po natin ang isang kwento ng isa ring mayaman, pero nakakilala sa Panginoon. At dahil nakakilala sa Panginoon, makikita natin, grabe po yung naging pagpapala, yung transformation na nangyari sa buhay niya dahil natagpuan niya ang Panginoon. Sa ngayon pong umaga, bago natin tignan yung passage at uh, tignan, kasi gusto ko pong gumawa ng isang parang profile ng mga taong makikita natin dito sa Luke chapter 19. Pero doon pa lang po sa Genesis, meron ng binabanggit na paulit-ulit na ang ating Diyos ay Diyos ng makapangirihan. Talagang walang hindi kayang gawin. Alam niyo po, ang isang napakahalagang uh, katangian ng Diyos ay yung tinatawag na siya po ay hindi nagbabago. The immutability of God. He does not change. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He does not change. Doon po sa Genesis 18.14, tinanong po ito, meron bang mahirap gawin para sa Panginoon. Bakit po tinanong yan? Kasi ang context po niyan, si Sarah, sinabihang mga nganak, eh si Sarah po at that time, 90 anyos na. 90 years old. Sabi ng Panginoon, magkakaanak ka. Si Sarah po natawa. Ngayon pa, aba ay menopus na ako. At itong aking lokong ay Nauupos naman, no? Paano mangyayaring magkakaanak pa? Inuutak eh. Maraming bagay po na gustong gawin ng Diyos sa buhay natin, hindi mangyari yan dahil inuutak natin eh. Kaya tinanong uli, ano ba ang pwedeng masabi mo na mahirap at hindi kayang gawin ng Diyos? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? In another instance, the prophet Jeremiah said this, Ah, sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and your outstretched arm. And then he adds, Nothing is too hard for you. Life is hard, but God is good. And He is good all the time. Time. Bigyan natin ng palakpak ang Panginoon. Yung binasa po nating story sa Luke chapter 19, let me tell you this, it's a good story because it speaks of God's ability and man's belief. Ang abilidad ng Diyos hindi nagbabago. Right? Believe it or not, God is still God. Makapangirian siya at walang mahirap sa kanya. Pero ang tao, ang tao po ay laging may choice. Mamati ka o hang ka mamati. Maniniwala ka ba o hindi ka maniniwala? Ang Diyos gustong kumilos, gustong magpahayag, gustong magpakilala, gustong buwa ng himala sa buhay natin. Pero ang tanong, maniniwala ka ba o hindi ka maniniwala? Nasa iyo yung choice na yan. Dito po sa Luke chapter 19, pinapakita ng Panginoon na sa Kanya talaga walang imposible. Yung sinabi sa Luke 18 that it was very hard. It's easier for a camel to get inside or to walk through eye of a needle. Di ba? Kesa ang isang mayama makapasok sa kariyan ng Diyos. It's almost like saying, this is impossible. But what is impossible with man is possible with God. The encounter of Zacchaeus, the tax collector, with Jesus is a very interesting illustration of how believing should be. Kasi ang issue natin, yung paniniwala eh. Our issue is always that. Are we going to believe Him? Are we going to take Him? As His Word says. Let's do a profile of, of these people here in Luke chapter 19. Okay? Let's start with Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was wealthy, but he was a crook. Mayaman siya, pero corrupt. 
yumaman siya sa pagiging corrupt, corruption. Maraming yumayaman sa corruption. This guy is wealthy, but he's crooked. Another one, he was small, but terrible. <laughs> Why is he terrible, Pastor? Because this guy, amazingly, is so determined. You'll find out later on that this guy is a kind of curious guy. But his curiosity led him to being challenged. Maliit siya. May challenge siya na hinaharap sa buhay. Pero determinado siya. Ikaw. Determinado ka ba? Pero meron kang mga bagay na sa tingin mo kapansanan mo. Marginalized ka siguro. O may disadvantage ka. Si Sakeus, ganun din. Pero ang maganda sa kanya, hindi niya ginawang hal- dahilan yon na huminto at magsawalang kibo na lang. He was determined. The next one. Zacchaeus was a guy who searched for truth and reality. He had that hunger. He wanted to know the truth. He was wealthy, but he's not happy. Alam niyo po that there is something like a space in his life that is not being filled. It's void. There's a vacuum in him. He's searching for what is really the real meaning of life. This is a chaos. The next thing that we see here is that he did not dally, uh, dilly dally. Hindi po siya nagpatumpik-tumpik. Hindi siya yung tipong, o ano, wala lang. Siya po ay mabilis na mag sa kung anong gusto niya sa buhay niya. He was quick to decide. Let's look at the crowd. Let's look at the profile of the crowd. Alam niyo po yung crowd, they were like curious but not sympathetic. Really. Yung mga crowd na the, sa dinabi-dami nila, isa lang yung tagumpay na storya. Yung kaysa Zacchaeus lang. And the, the thing here is this. You know, if you look at your Bibles, all the people saw this and began to matter. They murmured. They complained. Masininyo po, it says, not just some of the people, but all of the people there. All of the people. The crowd. Nandun yung, yung sagot sa problema nila, pero kasi, nagko-complain sila sa halip na maranasan nila yung sagot sa kinokomplain nila, hindi din na experience si Jesus. At ang dahilan is because if you, you, you read between, between the lines, you'll find out that ito pong mga taong ito, they were kind of ignorant that they were lost. You know, sa amin pong pamilya, ako po yung napakahina sa direksyon, naaminin ko. Kahit ilang beses ko na mapuntahan ng isang bagay, nawawala pa rin ako. At minsan, pag tinatawagan ko yung misis ko, parang hindi siya makapaniwala sa akin na nawawala pa rin ako. Salamat sa Panginoon sa pasensya po ng aking misis dahil <laughs> alam na alam niya pag may pupuntahan ako, alam na alam niya ilang mga minuto pa lang, 10 minutes, tatawag na ako. Ano pa, ano to? Saan ako dadaan? Anong exit ang lalabasan ko? Paglabas ko dito, anong gagawin ko? Kakanan ba ako o kakaliwa ako? Yung dalawa pong anak, buti lang hindi nagmana sa akin. Po. Himala po ng Diyos kapag nagdadrive ako na wala akong kasama na napupuntahan ko yung dapat kong puntahan. Himala po yun ng Diyos. Kaya ang ginagawa ko, ako po mag-isa, maaga ako dahil alam ko magpapaikot-ikot muna ako bago ko marating yung dapat kong puntahan. Wala po akong maayos sa sense of direction. Hindi sa dumadrama ako pag tumatawag ko sa misis ko, yun lang yun talagang totoong hindi ko talaga alam. Mahirap nyo intindihin yan. Kasi kayo, very gifted kayo, no? At ang matindi pa po sa akin minsan, yung naliligaw na ako, hindi ko pa alam naliligaw na ako. Alam nyo ba yung sinasabi ko? When do you know when you're lost? I don't know. 
So subtle, the way it happens, right? So tricky. <laughs> I mean, you don't know. Pag lagpas mo dito, alam mo, amisan, akala ko, tsaka lang ako, na, na, naliligaw yata ako. Abay, 30 minutes na pala ako naliligaw. <laughs> Sino mo dito nga amin at di may yung sasabi niyo? Ako rin, pastor, ganyan ako. Para hindi naman ako nag-iisa. Okay, marami-rami rin tayo. Marunong ang Diyos, pinagnar niya po ako sa asawang magaling sa direction. No? Marunong ang Diyos. Pero ang matindi po dito is this. Ang matindi po dito is this. Ang totoo po niyan, maraming mga tao ligaw na hindi pa alam na ligaw sila. Ang tingin nila, they are walking in the right direction. Ang tingin nila, okay sila. Ang tingin nila, lahat naliligaw, sila ay nasa tamang daan. Sabi pa nga ng iba, dating daan eh. Ang hirap kasing aminin eh. Pero alam nyo, pag inamin mo na naliligaw ka, hindi ka na maliligaw kasi may magtuturo sa'yo kung paano pumunta doon sa dapat mong puntahan. May tutulong sa'yo na magsasabing ito ang tamang daan. Pero gusto kong sabihin sa inyo, ang malungkot po sa storyang ito, ang dami-daming tao kasi binabasa ko, sabi ko, all of them didn't get the point Jesus was there and Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And He came to save those that are lost. He came to restore life in them. Give them an abundant kind of life. Give them the joy that they have been searching for. Meaning in life, Jesus was right there and all of them missed Him. They were lost and they were not aware of it. Ang tingin nila, they're okay. In fact, if you read this passage, si Zacchaeus po wanted to see Jesus. Actually, if you read on a little earlier, in, I believe in chapter 7, it says, Luke said that Jesus was a friend of the tax collector. You see, Jesus was a friend of the tax collector. He made it very clear. Alam niyo po yung tax collector noon, mababa ang tingin ng mga tao sa mga tax collector. Kasi mga abusadong tao yan, corrupt sila eh. At inaabuso nila yung kapwa nilang mga Pilipino, ay Pilipino, mga Hudyo, no? Inaabuso nilang kapwa nila mga Hudyo. Ito pong si Zacchaeus was a chief tax collector. What happens is this, yung pong ba, uh, ang, ang, ang governance po ng Rome, okay, ang ginagawa nila, kailangan nilang i-tax yung mga tao. To make, to expedite this, ang ginagawa po nila, nagpapabidding po sila. Kung sinong mananalo, ikaw ngayon na may trabaho ang kumulekta sa lahat ng ganitong lahi. Mga Hudyo, si, si Zacchaeus po, ang nakakuha, nanalo siya sa bidding, sabi niya, okay, tax sa mga taong ito. Sa lahat ng mga businesses nangyayari, sa mga Hudyo, akong bahala mga kolekta ng tax. Siya ang chief collector at marami siya mga taong nangungulekta para sa kanya. Diretso pa rin siya sa kolekta, lahat ng matira, pasok sa bulsa. Kaya mayaman siya. Pero galit ang mga tao sa kanila. Ito yung mga tao sa tingin nilang hindi dapat pumasok sa loob ng church. Ito yung mga tao na dapat, oh, huwag ka makikisama sa mga yan, no? Mga salbahe yan, eh. Mga baligtad ang ano yan, eh. Ano ba tawag doon, no? Shikmura, no? But I notice here, people who are nothing like Jesus actually like Jesus. Ang layo ni, ni, ni Zacchaeus sa pagiging tawagin natin yung sukatan natin kristyano, pero at least makikita natin, gusto niya si Jesus. Litin ko po, people who are nothing like Jesus, like Jesus. Let me tell you this, and Jesus like people who are nothing like Him. Ang malungkot po yung mga tao doon, they thought that they were like Jesus. So they don't need Jesus because what they have is okay. They're complete sa sarili nila. Wala silang pangailangan. Okay sila, banal sila eh. Natutupad nila yung batas eh. Ang suwael itong si Zacchaeus. Kaya hindi yan siya bagay. So this is the crowd. This is the crowd. They were ignorant that they were lost. Let's look at the profile of Jesus. Profile of Jesus. It says, he came, looked, he saw, 
and called Zacchaeus by name. Why? Because his heart is for the sicker. Hindi po nagbabago yan until now. Hindi po nagbabago yan until now. God has promised, even in the Old Testament, if you call upon Him in the days of trouble, right? He will listen to you. The Bible says, call upon Him while He is near. Seek Him and you will find Him. His heart is for the sick curse. Kaya meron po tayong hunger and thirst Sunday. Kaya gusto nating panatilihin, the thing that, you know what, in my opinion, the thing that really gets God's attention is when we really want Him in our life. When we really have this hunger for Him in our heart. You know, when a person hungers for God, because this person realizes this, all the things that he has experienced in life really sh fall short. It's not enough. It leaves you empty. Akala mo, pag nag-good time ka, okay ka na. Pag nalasing ka, at least nalimutan mo yung problema mo. Kahit papano, pastor, kahit sandali, man lang, eh, nalimutan ko yung problema mo. Oo nga, pero pag gising mo, masakit pang ulo mo. Ni hangover ka, at balik ka uli sa square one. May problema ka uli. Pero malungkot dyan, hindi nga natin alam minsan na tayo naliligaw na at nawawala, paikot-ikot lang tayo sa cycle. Paikot-ikot lang. You want to get out of that cycle? Listen. Turn your heart on Jesus. Begin to call upon His name. Begin to be honest and say, Lord, I need you in my life. I'm going around the circle. I don't know where I'm going to end up if I stay in this situation. God listens to the heart. Imagine this. There are so many people. Jesus was walking. Here was this small guy. He heard that he was a, t a friend of the tax collector. That means he still have hope. He's not happy in his life. He has what other people, you know, want. Material possession and all that. He's wealthy. The Bible says he's wealthy. Hindi siya makapasok kasi people were blocking him. Binabarahan siya. Pasukin mo yan. Hindi yan dapat dito. Huwag natin ilapit si Jesus sa kanya. Hindi ba guys, sa kanya si Jesus? Hindi siya itsurang maayos eh. But this guy, what happened was, sabi niya, if you read your Bible, it says this guy was not just curious, he took that as a challenge. And what happened was, the Bible says, this guy who was small in stature, ran so fast. While I was reading this, my mind is just going crazy. I'm imagining a small man, you know, when he saw, ay, hindi pwede dito sa Central, binabarahan na ng mga tao. Naku, punong-puno ng mga tao, hindi ako makasingit. Anong ginawa niya? Sabi niya, doon sa kusbibi. <laughs> Takbo siya! Eh, maliit na paa, dalawa, maliit na paa, ang bilis tumakbo. Inunahan niya silang lahat. Pagdating sa kusbibi, sarado pa rin. Naku, ang dami pa rin tao sa kusbibi. Sabi niya, sisiguraduhin ko na to. Doon na sa Taiwan. <laughs> doon na sa Taiwan. Hindi ko hayaan ano mga hadlang. Determinado ako. I'm curious, but I'm challenged. And I will not allow my weaknesses, my being, you know, short, or my being a failure, or me being a, what? Weak person. Whatever it is, hindi niya inalaw. He says, he ran so fast, and he made a way. And he found a way, right? Because sabi niya, kung maliit ako, pwede akong tumaas. Aakit ako sa sycamore pig tree. Eh, niwala ako, pagtakbo pa lang niya, may plano na siya. Sabi niya, alam na alam ko, doon sa Taiwan, may lugar doon na pwede akong akyatin. And I'm praying this prayer, Lord, in Taiwan, let people meet you. Let people experience you. Let people experience your love, your grace, your presence here in Taiwan, Lord. Make a miracle in their lives as they enter this place. Amen. That people in this place will not look at people and say, you don't look like Jesus. No, yes, they really don't look like Jesus. That's why they want, they need to get inside so that they'll get a glimpse 
and find out that Jesus is so good, that everything that He has planned is so good, that with Jesus, nothing is impossible. He can restore broken dreams. Hallelujah. He can heal broken hearts. Amen. He can do a miracle in our life together as we look and wait upon Jesus. Si Jesus po ang sagot, and Zacchaeus understood this. Sabi niya, kailangan makilala ko si Jesus. Kailangan maranasan ko si Jesus. And he came. And the good thing about this is, is you know, I was just imagining, was Jesus, while Jesus was walking, uh, walking parang nag-scan, nag-scan siya, nag-scan, nag-scan. Somehow, merong isang tip, 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 tip. Wow. Pero lumalayo. Ito lang yung tama. Ang puso, pero lumalayo. Pero hindi lumalayo para tuluyang lumayo. Lumalayo para makalapit. Kasi umahanap ng lugar para maging malapit siya sa Panginoon. The Bible says, nung huminto, alam niyo, naglalakad siya sa kayo. Saan ba siya? Ito, ito. Ayun, no? Kita niyo? Kaya. Kayo, so? Parang Pilipino to, eh. Maliit eh, no? Ano kayang nasa isip ni Zacchaeus? Nandun siya, nag-aabang siya, oh. Ano kayang pakiramdam niya nung padaan na sa si Jesus? Okay na ako, makita ko lang siya eh. Okay na ako yung, mas, ma, makita ko lang itong sinasabi ng kaibigan at merong parang pagmamalasakit sa amin, mga parang minarginalize at uh, uh, kinategorize na ng mga taong masama at mga korap. Nandun si Zacchaeus. Imagine ko kung anong... Kasi, nakuha yung attention ni Jesus eh, di ba? Ang daming tao doon. Pero huminto si Jesus, and the Bible says, and Jesus stopped all of a sudden, and looked, and went near Zacchaeus, and he called Zacchaeus by name. It's a Zacchaeus. Wow, he's calling me. What? Are you calling me? Hey, come on. Get down of that sycamore tree. Come down immediately. You know what? I'm going to go to your place. I'm going to meet with you. I'm going to dine with you. You see, listen, listen. Kaya po ang problema ay problema ng puso eh. Kasi ang puso po, dyan ang gagaling lahat ng issue ng buhay natin. Kaya lang, kaya nga, sa lahat ng dapat iniingatan natin ang puso natin. Kasi kung meron din pong tinatarget ang demonyo, ang puso natin. Kung saan ang treasure mo, tinitreasure mo sa buhay mo, nandun ang puso mo. Pero ang maganda po sa story na nakikita natin, si Zacchaeus, merong pagnanasa para sa Diyos. And I believe you're here, and maybe you're here for the first time, I believe you have that longing in your heart. You want to meet with God. But I want to let you know, God wants to be very personal with you. God wants to call your name and says, I know you. I know what you're going through. I know the pain that you have go- gone through sa buhay mo. At may gagawin ako magandali ka. Papasukin mo ako sa bahay mo. Hallelujah. Do you believe that? You believe that? Kasi naniniwala po ako, naniniwala po ako ng buong puso. Yes, we enjoy the miracles that we're experiencing in this church. We're seeing healing after healing, amen? Amazing healings that, taking, that are taking place. Nothing short, but you know, a move of the power of God. Miracle ng Panginoon. But I'm telling you this, the greatest miracle is a change of life. Ang katawan, kahit gumaling, magkakasakit pa rin. Ang tiyan, pag nabusog, nagugutom pa rin. Ang tao, pag lumakas, manghihina pa rin. Ang tao, kahit nakatulog, aantukin pa rin. Pero ang tao, hinipo ng Diyos sa puso at binago ng Diyos, magbabago at patuloy na magbabago. Ang kailangan natin is a buhay na hinawakan at binago ng Panginoon. At ang pagbabago ng Diyos, hindi papalabas, papaloob, hindi palamuti hanggang papaloob, kundi papaloob, papalabas. Inaayos ng Diyos ang puso ko, ang puso mo. Hinilinis ng Diyos. Nilalagay niya ang spirito niya. Nilalagay niya isang pusong laman na magkakaroon ng pagnanasa at pagpintig patungkol sa mga bagay na nauukol sa Diyos. Only God can do that. And Jesus wants to do that 
in your life today. I am sure about it. I am sure about it. He was searching for truth. He wants to go to stay or visit with Zacchaeus. He's telling us that Jesus is really interested. And he is interested to deal with us on a one-on-one -on -one basis. He sees the cry of your heart this morning. He understands what you're going through this morning. Amen? And He wants to stay with you. Do you hear me? He says salvation has come for Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was curious enough to be challenged. At hindi lang po siya na challenged, kundi anong ginawa niya. He had the courage to overcome his weakness, his disadvantage, his being short. So he was curious but he was challenged and he was courageous enough to run and not ashamed to run as a wealthy guy. You know, it doesn't look nice when you're wealthy and you're running like that, right? You don't do that, right? <laughs> Going up a tree, you don't do that. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He, doesn't, he wanted to want to give this a shot. It's a one-time shot in his life. He said, I will not miss this. He was courageous enough. And the good thing here is this. So when he was curious, he was challenged, he was courageous. And then what happened? He got converted. He got converted. He got converted. He found Jesus. He found what he's been searching for. Amen? Throughout his life. Nakakatuwa po dahil ang sabi ng Bible, salvation has come. To this household. Now, salvation, verse 9, has come to this house. Ngayon, hindi reliyon ang dumating sa buhay mo, sa Kayus. Hindi sistema at ceremonia at practices na pwede mo lang gawin at uh, gagawin mo para maging masarap ang pakiramdam mo na gives you a sense of accomplishment somehow. Ngayon, hindi lang uh, uh, prestige ang dumating sa bahay mo, sa Kios. Ang dumating sa bahay mo, sa Kios, ay kaligtasan. At dumating ito sapagkat si Jesus ang may dala nito. Alam niyo po, walang pangalan na binigay sa lupa para maligtas ang tao, kundi sa pangalan lang ni Jesus Christ. Kapag may narinig kayo nagpipreach at ibang pangalan ng pinipreach, at o kaya sinasabi nila sila na sa si Jesus Christ, o kayong maniwala. Si Jesus ay si Jesus pa rin hanggang ngayon at nakaupo siya sa kanang kamay ng Ama. Nananatiling makapangirihan, hari ng mga hari, Panginoon, Panginoon. Pero si Jesus nandito ngayon sa pamagitan ng kanyang banal na spirito. At ang kanyang banal na spirito kumakatok sa puso natin. Amen. Nagnanasang gumawa sa ating mga buhay. It says, now salvation has come to this household. Hallelujah. You know, salvation is free, but discipleship is very costly. Ang maligtas ni Brett, tinabaho na ni God yan, siya nagbayad ng matinding kabayaran. Buhay niya ang pinambayad niya doon. Pero ang sumunod kay Kristo, mataas ang presyo. Paano ko nasabi yan sa storya dito? Ang storya po nagsasabi, nung ang Panginoon po nakausap ni, ni Zacchaeus, ano nangyari? Sabi niya, alam mo Panginoon, actually the Bible says, it's funny because when I was reading this passage, it says, and Zacchaeus stood up. Why do you have to put that there? Because they thought he was still sitting down. But actually, he was already standing up, right? Because he was a small guy. No? Sabi, tumayo siya. Excited po si Zacchaeus eh, sa nangyari sa buhay niya. Personal yung nangyaring uh, karanasan niya sa Diyos na nag-revolutionize ng buhay niya. So, sabi ng Bible, tumayo si Zacchaeus. 
Alam mo, sabi niya, Panginoon, tingnan niyo po, tingnan niyo po, Panginoon. Look, Lord, he said, verse 8, Here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. This is amazing. The very thing that controls him, huh? the very thing that he really values in life, right? The very thing that, you know, uh, 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 that, that he stands upon, the very foundation of his significance in life, identity maybe, sa buhay niya, ngayon baliwala na. He's giving 50% of it away. Pastor, ayoko na maging kristyano. Pwede mimigay pala yung 50%. Akala ko 10% lang. <laughs> Hindi. Yan ang ibig sabihin. Ano palang ibig sabihin? Pinapakita lang ni Zacchaeus na totoong may nangyaring pagbabago. Excited na siya. At ang mahalaga na sa kanya ang Diyos. Oo, mahalaga pa rin yung pera, pero hindi nakatulad nung dati ang hila nito sa kanya. Wow, na-revolutionize yung buhay niya. Binago ng Diyos yung buhay ng taong ito. Yung values ng taong, sabi niya 50%, ipamimigay ko sa mga dukha. Ipamimigay ko sa mga poor at may hirap. 50% nito. And I wanna let you know po, Panginoon, sabi niya, alam mo, Yung mga niloko ko, yung chinit ko, ibabalik ko sa kanila yung pera, babalik ko ng four times. Apat na beses kong ibabalik sa kanila ito. Huwag niyo sabihin, at pastor, kaya pala sabi ni God, salvation has come kasi pinabigyan niya yung kanyang kayamanan. Binalik niya yung mga perang dinugas niya at niloko niya sa mga tao. Kaya ngayon, salvation has come. Wrong. Wrong. What he is doing is a proof that salvation has come. That inner change that we don't see found expression outside that we can see. Did you hear me? Kung sinasabi mong nagsisi ka, makikita ang bunga sa buhay mo kung nagsisi ka. Kung sinasabi mong mahalaga ang Diyos, kahit nasasabihin sa'yo, alam mo, malaki ang part-time na to. Talaga? Oo. Dito nga may balita ako, iba naman. Ano, part-time lover pa, meron. No? Magkano naman dyan ako? Magugulat ka. Marami po mga bagay na pwedeng mag-distract sa atin, sa buhay natin. Aminin natin, hindi madali ang buhay. Sino may sabi madali ang buhay? Mahirap po ang buhay. Pero huwag niyong kakalimutan, may Diyos na mabuti. May Diyos na po marito, gusto kong abutin. Pero ang tanong, ito, gusto mo ba siya? May pangahagad ka ba sa puso mo para sa Kanya? May pagkauhaw ka ba sa Kanya? May pagkauhaw ba ako sa Diyos? Ano madalas na pinapanaginip ko pag natutulog ako? Sana Lord, pagpalaay mo ako, itodo mo, ibuhos mo. He bless mo ako. Masama ba yung pastor? Hindi. Pero kung hindi tama ang puso natin, pwede maging masama ang pagpapala. Pwede maging, maging, mag, maging sumpa ang pagpapala na sa tingin natin sa umpisa ay maganda, pwede maging masama. Paano? Pag hindi tama ang puso natin, kapag ito na ang genius natin, pag dito na natin tinuon, pag ito na naging malaga sa atin, kapag ito na ang iniisip natin, kapag ito na ang pinapanaginip natin, pag tinignan mo yung expenses mo, laging dito na, dito na pupunta, dito na sa mga bagay na ito, then something is wrong. Then something is wrong then something is wrong. Gumawa siya ng mabuti dahil binuti ng Diyos yung puso niya. Hindi ka makakagawa ng mabuti na katanggap-tanggap sa Diyos kapag hindi mo na naranasan mo yung pagkilo siya ng pagbabago ng puso mo. Kaya ng Diyos gawin yan sa buhay mo. Kaya ng Diyos gawin yan. Yan ang profile ni Jesus. Anong matututunan natin kay Zacchaeus in seeing God do the impossible? This is what we want. We want to continue to experience the impossible things. Amen? Agree with me? In Luke 18, the rich guy 
did not get saved. Right? He walked away from the real source of blessing and everything. Right? He walked away. Hinawakan niya yung bagay na temporary. Iniwanan niya yung bagay na eternal. Lungkot. Dito po, sa chapter 19, yung mayaman po na dati hawak mga possession at temporary, binitawan para matanggap ang bagay na eternal na hindi mawawala sa kanya. That's why I like what Jim Elliot said. He is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to receive that which he can, it cannot be taken away from him. Something like that. Alright? You see, pakinggan niyo po. Anything you own in life that you cannot give away, let me tell you this, you don't really own it. Anything in your life that you cannot give away, I'll tell you, you don't really own that. The truth of the matter is, it owns you. That thing is your master. You cannot part with it. It controls you. You'll go crazy. You'll die if you lose that. You cannot give it up. Wakit. Kasi akala mo, hawak mo siya, ang totoo, hawak niya. Mga kapatid, hayaan nating maranasan natin na katulad ni Zacchaeus, hinawa ka lang Diyos ang buhay. At pag ang Diyos may hawak sa atin, sinong pwedeng magpahiwalay sa atin sa pagmamahal niya? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Walang anuang bagay! Walang anuang bagay ang pwedeng magpalayo sa atin sa pagmamahal ng ating Panginoon. Let me just go through this. This is important. You want to see God do the impossible in our life? Seeking must always be sincere and with effort. Remember, one time I said, intention plus direction is equals to destination. If you have good intention minus direction, you'll never reach your destination. You can think and think and dream and dream and be so excited about all your intentions in life, but if you remain in that point of just having your intention, nothing is going to happen. This guy was sincere, yes, but he took the right direction. May effort siya in apply. Lumapit siya, at hindi lang lumakad siya, tumakbo siya, at hindi lang siya tumakbo, umakit siya. Amen! For without faith, it is impossible to please God. Because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Earnestly seek Him. Earnestly seek Him. I'm taking the right direction. I will not give up. I will walk on this path, I will not turn to the right nor turn to the left. I will walk the narrow way. Lugar na maring walang maraming taong lumalaka doon. Pero the Bible says, that leads to life. Pero maganda po dito, you know, there are times when I talk to the Lord in prayer. You'll think that I am I'm weird because sometimes when I pray, I say, Lord, I said, you know, ah, I'm having a hard time praying right now because truth is, I don't see you and I don't feel you. But Lord, I will tell him, but I know you exist. I know you hear my prayers. The same in son, we, we get bogged down because we, <laughs> we base our, our prayer, our faith, in our feelings, in our situations, diba? We get discouraged. I say, Lord, you know, I believe you're here. I believe you're listening to me. I don't see you, but I believe because your word says it, God. That solves it for me, God. I believe that you exist. The truth is, I have experienced you answering my prayers many times over. Amen? Sumasagot ka sa panalangin. Lord, I know that you, be, that you exist. Because the Bible says, Anyone who comes to Him must believe that, that He exists. 
And it's because I believe that you exist, Lord, I will not stop talking to you. I will not stop reading your word. Amen? I know you exist. I will not stop. And this verse is so good because this verse promised if we keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on through thick and thin, through different situations of the not, and we keep on, 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 faithfully doing it over and over and over and over again. The Bible says, He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Hallelujah. Amen. Kung gusto niyo pumunta sa pagod po, pagdating niyo sa Pilipinas, bumiyahe kayo papuntang south. Oh, very good. Paano kung dito pa lang gusto kong pumunta sa pagod po? Paso sabi na maganda daw yung beach doon, maganda daw doon, maganda daw, okay, 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 punta tayo. Pagdating sa Pilipinas, nag-drive si Pastor Oral, pumunta sa South Diversion Road Highway. Paghinto ko, ba? Apaya nga, Ilocano na to, yung uh, sa Sauda. Anong salita? Abay ala eh. Labas ka ng kotse. Ah, saan ako? Papunta po ako, pagod po eh. Anong pagod po? Mapupod po yung gulong na sasakya mo, hindi ka makakarating doon. Bakit? Dapat doon ka sa North. Diversion Road. SETEX. Ha? Eh, ang ganda ng intensyon ko, ha? Pagod po ang intensyon ko, ha? Ba't dito ako napunta? Mali ang direksyon mo! Huwag kang managinip. Dadating ka sa tamang desisyon mo. May intensyon ka maganda, pero mali ang direksyon mo. Kung gusto mo ang Diyos, pumunta ka sa tamang direksyon. Mauhaw ka sa Diyos. May mga panahon, ishutdown mo yung Facebook. Magbasa ka ng Bible. Kausapin mo si Lord. Itigil mo yun. Lord, di pa ako nakakabawi eh. Ikaw, kahit anong ganda ng intensyon mo, pinagpray ko naman eh. Kahit gaano ang ganda ang intensyon mo, ang direksyon mo ganyan. Mamaya, dalawang kamay na. It's not going to work. Mangyayari lang yung gusto mong mangyari sa'yo kapag ka tatahakin mo yung tamang direksyon. Seek Him sincerely. Seek Him with all your heart. Thirst for Him. Amen. Believe that He is a rewarder of those who earnestly seek Him. You know, one day God is going to reward you. It's not sasabihin mo, wow, it's not worth it. No, it's worth it. God is a rewarder. Did you hear me? God is a rewarder. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you know what? God is a rewarder. Seek Him earnestly. Amen? Let's give God a clap offering. Hallelujah. You want to experience the impossible? Receive the words of Jesus with sincerity and welcome Him gladly sa sitwasyon mo, sa buhay mo. Amen? Stop more more you think. Stop complaining. Gone are those days. I know my Redeemer lives. I know my Redeemer is alive and He's strong. And His, His hand is upon me. He holds me in the palm of His hand. Hallelujah. May problema ka pa, oo. May mga nag sa sa'yo, oo. May mga bumarang kay sa keso, oo. Pero nung nandun na siya sa harap ni Jesus, masaya siya. Amen. Pag umakit ka na sa Port Lord, sa Taiwan, sabi mo, Panginoon, masaya ako dahil nandito ka, tatagpuin kita. Kanina, nasigawan ako. Natalsikan pa ako ng humahatsing na kung ano yon no? Pero Panginoon, doon sa loob ng simbahan na yon Pupurihin kita. Magagalak ako. Dahil alam ko, hawak mo ang buhay ko. 
at sa iyo, walang imposible, Panginoon. At mangungusap ka sa akin, at palalakasin mo ang pananampalataya ko, at itataas mo ako mula sa pagkabagsak na to Panginoon. Aasa ako, may maganda kang gagawin sa buhay ko. Pupurihin kita, Panginoon. I'll tell you what, kung ganyan tayo lahat, makita natin ang pagkilos ng Diyos, makita natin ang himala ng Diyos, dahil ang Diyos po, na mamagnet po siya sa mga taong, masaya nagpupuri, kahit may problema, kahit walang pera, sabi, Lord, di bale, aking ka naman, at ako naman, ay sayo, purihin ka, Panginoon, hawak mo ang buhay ko, Panginoon, walang hindi ka kayang gawin, Panginoon, hallelujah, Wag niyo hayaan yung sinasabi ng mga tao na madiskurahi ka at huminto ka sa paglapit sa Diyos. Meron talagang bubulong-bulong dyan. Yung iba nga kahit wala dito yung bumubulong-bulong, parang naaalala niya yung binubulong-bulong sa kanya. Eh, no? Wag niyo hayaan. Amen? I'll tell you what, Jesus can change you. And Jesus wants to change you. Jesus wants to do the greatest miracle in your life. He wants to change you upside down, make you a new person. If anyone be in Christ, the Bible says, he is a new creation. Behold, all things are gone. In dating 6 o'clock phase, laging mahaba mo ka, laging nakasimahangot, laging talunan, laging naninisi, laging reklamo dito, reklamo doon. Ngayon, nakangiti at nagsasabi, umaasa akong may magandang gagawin si Lord sa buhay ko. May magandang gagawin si Lord sa buhay ko. May magandang gagawin si Lord sa simbahan natin. May magandang gagawin ng Diyos sa lugar na ito. Walang imposible, walang mahirap sa Kanya. Ang sinabi ng taong hindi na pwede, pwede pa sa Panginoon. Ang sinabi ng taong pangit na storya, pwedeng kunin ng Diyos at gawin niyang maganda. Ang sinabi ng taong wasak na buhay, wala ng pag-asa, pwedeng kunin ni Lord kung punihin niya at magugulat ka dahil mas maganda pa ito kesa dati. Yung hindi kaya ng tao, kaya ng ating Panginoon. Yung hindi kaya ng tao na gawin sa buhay mo, gustong gawin ng Diyos sa buhay mo. Tumayo tayong lahat. Pasalamatan natin ng Panginoon. Let's, let's all stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Itaas yung kamay. Sambahin nyo siya. Pasalamatan nyo siya. Mahal ka niya. Tinatawag ka niya. Alam niya ang pangalan mo. Last mong yung kamay. Sabihin mo, Panginoon, hindi ako hihinto. May problema po ako. Mahirap ang buhay. Pero alam ko mabuti ka. At may magagawa ka pa ang magandang storya sa buhay ko. May himala kang gagawin sa buhay ko, Panginoon. <laughs>